guys, welcome back to another shred video. The sun is out again today. It's a lovely autumn day we have right here, but it's a special one too, because today is the first day of the trip to Scotland that we've been planning. <laughs> Williams on board and we are heading up to Thurzo which is about as far north as you can get here in the UK. Ross is driving the van up with all the gear. Yeah boy yeah. it's in Scotland now hello. <laughs> the long drive begins. Yeah. Get on the podcast. He's off on the long drive to the furthest northern tip of the United Kingdom. Sam and myself are flying up on EasyJet and we are gonna get up there for what looks like one of the best forecasts we've seen in ages. We've spent a few days planning this. There's a wind forecast. Whew. Yeah, it does look pretty insane. I mean, it's mega, mate. It's like five meters of swell and, um, and like howling westerlies. It's gonna be mega, yeah. We're going to take surfboards, kite boards, twin tips, wing boards, prone boards, windsurfers, flight boards. I mean, you name it, we've literally got it all. And we are headed to as far north in England as we could possibly get. Forecast looking rad. Let's get on it. Right now, I'm headed to drop the e-foil with Ross. And then we're going to get on the road. Uh, every journey starts here. The red funnel. Morning. Take this opportunity to thank you for travelling with Red Funnel this morning and may we wish you a very safe and pleasant onward journey. We're now officially on the way. <laughs> Cup of tea for you, mate. Cappuccino. Thank you. 3.5 degrees. We haven't even, basically only just left the Isle of Wight. The van is literally breaking down. We're coming Short in. Short stage, off pickup. As the van breaks down. <laughs> so we've arrived, and the van is literally breaking down at the parking at the airport. Oh my God, literally the van's just copped its popped its clogs as we turned up. Started juddering, we just about made it into the car park and now I've paid the ticket and I'm leaving it in Gatwick short term for the entire time because I will not let this stop us. Nine minutes. Positively swift. Let's roll. Head east. Ah, oh, jeez, absolutely glorious up here, mate. Yeah. Clearly, mate, it was worth the drive, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a little bit. I've never actually served this, this ride. I'm already getting a strong sense how this trip is going to be. And I'm glad I've got a good place for it. On the road, first day. You. 
looking about 30 to 40 knots, side to side offshore. The sun's just come up. It's looking lush when it's out, but it does seem to be raining 95% of the time. Yo, mate, that left looks ridiculous. Always close the gate, no matter how excited you are. Yeah, I think this is the one. I think um, from memory, I think there's a, a, a left that bends backwards into the bay again. This one did, still yeah. going. That one, yeah, the last See one's it? still going. Yeah. Oh. The choice when you get to a spot like this and you've never ridden it before, you've got to evaluate the conditions, evaluate the setup the sort of environment, how the wind's going to react around the land, how the waves are going to be, and then what gear you're going to take. So, that's a few decisions for me. The question is whether I brought the right gear for the job. Done. I mean, that was pretty, uh, pretty special, actually. Couldn't have asked for more. Getting down here and uh, getting straight into a perfect left-hand point break. It was a bit too windy on my nine, um, but we've just come in. We're going to change kites and uh, probably go back out for another little session because it's so good. It's a shame to not make the most of it.
Okay, we've got the Storm Riders Guide open on the spot search. We are now, after session one, going to go and check out Bay. Because that looks like there should be some carnage going on there. First spot we checked after the last spot we shredded is insanely good. Okay, in five minutes and searching for the next spot. Admit. Pretty impressive. 